What is up, crypto heads? I am buying Chainlink right now. Actually, I did it 10 minutes ago. I do believe this is a good price. This is the five-year chart. We're on Robinhood here, so there's not a lot of fancy detail and stuff. But if you've been following my videos, you know what you're looking at here. This is the last Bitcoin having cycle hype pump for cryptocurrency. Here's why. If you want to watch my channel, here's why. This is interesting. Here's what we're all looking for. If uh, you want to play this right instead of wrong, look at Chainlink. Through uh, the last, the last uh, hype cycle was back, back here, and uh, this is after the last hype cycle. See, this is, this is the bear winter. Thirty cents, forty cents, fifty cents. Something happened here. I wasn't around at this time, so I'm not sure what happened with Chainlink here. It doesn't matter, really. Uh, Two dollars, three dollars, two dollars. Four dollars, two dollars, and then here is the uh, last Bitcoin halving cycle, which is coming up here in the not too distant future. There will be another one of these. So here's what we're looking for, right? Say 40 cent chain chain link, uh, 50 over 52 dollars. This is five year chart on Robinhood, so it's really not that accurate, but for my purposes here, that's all we need to look at. I think it was like 58. 59, right? I think it's right under 60. But uh, boom, there it is, right? Can you imagine that? Buying a 50 cent chain link, watching it go to $50. That's what cryptocurrency is all about. And then this is where the public gets in, right? For the new folks out there, the public, oh, it's wonderful, 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 wonderful. <laughs> boom, right? Someone out there missed my booms, right? But that's how it is, right? It's just the public just gets washed out. And then, oh, well, it's coming back. Oh, buy more, right? <laughs> boom, right? And so, that's where we're at now, and you're hearing about this FTX uh, exchange crash, and all the professional talking heads are coming out and say, let crypto burn, and crypto's going to die, and regulate it, and boom, boom, boom. And, I, and, I, and that's what's happening now. I don't want to make this video too long, but that's that's what happens, right? It's terrible, 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 and when it's terrible, 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 you should be buying, right? Dollar cost averaging would be my advice if I were going to give advice. I mean... It's disposable income, right? Don't don't risk anything you can't afford to lose. But if you want to get into this, um, I don't dollar cost average. That's why I'm making this video right now. I just bought some. I think I got it actually at six dollars and eleven cents, uh, and it, it could go down over the next 12, 10, 12 months. Chainlink could go down to like four dollars, five dollars. See through here, it, it'll probably bounce off this four to five dollar range. I wouldn't suspect it to go much further down than four or five. So, you know, this isn't probably the best time to buy, but it's not bad, right? This this is probably pretty good because we're not, we're looking for the next pump, right? Say this does go down to $4 and 10 months from now, it's at, you know, $4 and 92 cents or something, right? But that that's, this is a long play, right? It's a long play. I just think this is a good time. And, you know, I have a little bit of money to, to put into it right now. So I, I think it's not bad. So there it is, boom, right? And uh, off here to the right, there will be another one of these. You know, uh, Chainlink might chain link might go up, go up to $100 or so. And, you know, it's, maybe that's not that fancy from looking at all-time high here at 50, almost 60. But maybe it goes up to 140 120 It, it probably, probably bumps its head on 100 So, you know, if this goes, you know, $6 minus $5, $4, $5, $6, $7, you know, in this range, and you know, bear winter, right? That's we're coming into the bear winter right here, right? This is the stretch we're entering. We're like kind of through here somewhere, right? And then we're looking for this next pump. I think it's coming a little earlier in the grand scheme. So, so anyways, uh, yeah, I just want you just uh, talking about the things I do, and I'm buying right now. I, I recommend dollar cost average, and I actually don't dollar cost average myself. I probably would if I had funds free every day, but I'm still recovering from this was kind of the Elon Musk debacle right here, middle of May. I, I got it handed to me, <laughs> just a tiny little bit too much leverage, and, and I got washed out. And uh, long story short, so but had it not been for that, I, I would be dollar cost averaging. No, I'm still playing catch up. The problem is I maxed out my credit cards, right? So I really didn't lose that much. It's just paying the interest on the credit cards which i was going to pay off right away but i got washed out so <laughs> okay that's that's my own story s p 500 
I've been talking about this, um, this pre COVID dump at about $3,400. And I've been talking about this looks like a natural spot for the, for this to bounce S and P 500. So if you can see why, why I think this is natural is because right, COVID dump, this was a little overheated through here leading up to the COVID dump. It was, it was kind of strange. It's just, everything was on fire. And, uh, so I think the COVID dump kind of was just kind of a natural sell off that was ready to happen anyway. But, uh, as you can kind of see here, it kind of came back up into this range here and, and failed, not quite to it, and failed, and then it kind of came through up a little bit, and then boom, and then came back down and bounced off of it, came back up, bounced off of it here, see how it's working, and then just went on its merry way, right? And now, now it's come back down, and I've been saying this looks like a good spot for it to bounce. I, I wasn't sure if this was the real pump. I thought there might be another leg down, and, and it came back up, and then boom, and look at this just, just last a month ago. It was it came down it bounced off basically right off of it. it came down to like 35 this is like 34 so is this is this the real recovery right in the, in the major markets um i don't know it it, it, it i kind of get the gut feeling it's going to come down again and, and bounce off that same area or or maybe this is the real recovery right maybe this is where it just kind of goes up through the, the holiday season and in the next year you know and maybe Maybe set all time new high at 4,800 or whatever for, for maybe his 5,000. I wouldn't be surprised if it does that. You know, um, it kind of does the opposite of, you know, people are scared and it goes up and when people are happy, it goes down because that's just how this works because the big fish are taking people's money, right? So uh, that was kind of the problem I had basically back here on Bitcoin. It's kind of why I got washed out because I, I, I'm kind of morally torn, right? Because I wanted to take out loans and, and just pay off the loans on my crypto, but it dumped so hard so fast and have a chance. And I, I don't really like day trading because you're just, they're just literally taking other people's money. Right. And I don't want to take your money. Right. So I, it's, it's kind of a dilemma, right? <laughs> I suppose if you're just a little tiny fish and you're just taking a little money out, it's not that big of a deal, but, but it's kind of, it's kind of gross. Right. I'd almost like to see a stock market, where you can only buy and sell, right? Just no, no leverage, no trade, just buy or sell, right? That would be interesting to see what would happen in a market like that. Just flat, flat spot, buy, spot, sell, right? Um, it would probably look something like this. It's up and up and up and up and up and up, right? Uh, but listen, that's a different story. But anyways, the problem here is if it comes back down and tests that $3,400 area again, the more times it comes down, it bounces, right? The more times it comes down and tests it, the more likelihood is probably going to be coming back down through it. So that's what I'm watching. If it comes down below like 3,400, 3,300, what's going to happen then? That could that could get kind of ugly because this. Let's go to the year trend here. This this is definitely a downtrend. Let's well let's go back. So it's pretty bad. Right, it's, it's lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. So far. It's lower high, so you know, like the last high was like 4,200 area, right? So, is it gonna right now? Is it 4,000? Is it, is it gonna come up through there, or is it gonna set a lower high and then come back down here and set a lower low? So, it's kind of treacherous. Um, I've been saying the stock market is probably gonna start melting up, but it hasn't really done that yet. I like to recommend stocks, and the one, the one stock I've recommended that actually lost after I recommended it. it was planet fitness and but it's actually up there right now this is where I started recommending it back through here and uh at like 75 I was saying it's probably not bad and it dumps I don't think it was right through here at this, this area here I think and uh it dumped and then this is following the S&P 500 right this is that dump back down here testing the pre-covid this this is pre-covid here big spike so planet fitness is a little different but the S&P 500 is here, right? That's that first dump down to the COVID area. And then it came down further, right? There it is. This is the lower dump. So it's following the S&P 500. It's just a little more exaggerated. And uh, but there it is, right? There's, there's. I don't know. I, I, I almost think if you wanted to get out of Planet Fitness now, it would be now time to get out of it. I know I recommended it at the $75 level. And there it is, right? So actually it came up to like 77 the other day. And, uh, but you know, if you want to get out, get out now because it, it might dump, but <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's just if 
I'm just falling into the trap that everyone else is falling into. Is this the real recovery? I, I just kind of get the feeling it's going to come down and bounce again. And uh, maybe, maybe the next bounce is the real recovery. But who knows? But anyways, long story short, the one the one stock I've drawn people's attention to that failed, that didn't go up in the near future was this one. But now it's back up. There it is. 75, 75. So I just want to point that out. So I like to talk about my personal experiences, what I do good and what I failed at. Just, just uh, you know, just knowledge, experience is good for everyone. And if you're new to this, you think, oh, it's a disaster, right? Because you know, the public gets roped in right about in, starting about right in here, 35, 40,000, 50,000, you know, we're all getting rich, we're all getting rich, huh? you know. But, you know and then, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. So those people buying it 60,000 and then, and then they write it down, right? So I know there's people out there right now they're probably just freaking out right because <laughs> they're hearing all these terrible terrible stories right it's failure failure bitcoin's going to die it's going to die it's going to burn die it's going to it's going to with one dollar bitcoin's going to one dollar it's going to zero well it can't go to zero because there's lost bitcoin bitcoin's going to 82 cents right um now i'm not going to say it is or isn't going to happen but but this is how it works right this is the last the last hype cycle here twenty thousand high about second to last hype cycle, having Bitcoin, having cycle, hype pump. There it is, right? The public is roped in towards the top, and then and, and they sell down here at the bottom, right? And this is the panic phase here, boom, right? And then here's the bear winter. And uh, this is an interesting pump here. We'll see if that comes. This would be like uh, next summer. Um, you know, I'm looking back in time and trying to project to the, what's going to the right there. But here's the COVID dump. So that's just kind of a not, no big deal in crypto. It's just kind of a, <laughs> kind of a normal thing. And uh, quiet, you kook. Sorry about my cat, Mallon. He knows I'm talking and he wants attention. So, uh, but right, this this is how it works, right? Awful, terrible, terrible, awful, awful. But the, when it's terrible, 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 awful, 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 doom, gloom, gloom and doom, that's when you should be dollar cost averaging, buying in, disposable income. Don't get stupid because, you know, an asteroid could hit us next week, right? And that's not going to be good for electronics. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, the one, the one thing I would recommend is if you're trying to protect money, I would just say physical gold, real physical gold in the palm of your hand, right? That's that's the one thing I would say to preserve up. It's, it's you know, it's, I know a lot of people can. There's like a war between Bitcoin and gold, but you just got to stop doing that. Gold is cool, man. Um, maybe it only goes up a couple hundred dollars and, but it's, it's not, you're not trying to make money, right? Preserve, preserve money. Gold is not bad. Uh, but, uh, let's get off, let's get off the subject a little more. Anyways, right. This is where the, this is where the public buys in and then it's down here, right? And now it's the super panic. We're just entering the panic phase. So, all right, this Back here, public is endless, everything's glorious, and then and then they sell way down here, right? And then they'll get back in up here, right? <laughs> and then oh no, they'll ride all the way down and sell at the bottom because they just can't take it anymore. But if it just keeps continuing, you know, I, I'm 99% sure that you know there's another giant pump coming, just because that's how it works. And this is the psychology of the stock markets. But nothing, there is no sure thing. So only use money that you can afford to throw out your car window and still be okay tomorrow when you wake up. That's just basically the whole rule, right? Because the money I just bought Chainlink with today, I'm not, you know, it's okay if it goes for two or three years. I don't need it, right? So that's what I'm using. And, you know, I'm expecting maybe a little pump and maybe maybe I will sell and pay rent with it or something. And then get back in again when it comes down low, but but just on a you know general scheme of things, now is a good time to be putting some lunch, you know, spend you know, <laughs> uh, I was gonna say lunch money. That's not a good term, but you know you got you got a few extra bucks, man. Right now is probably a good time. Bitcoin could come down to you know ten thousand, you know, but but uh, you know look, just this is just how it works, right? I, that's, I, I just I just know there's people out there watching right now that, that they'll, they'll sell, right? They maybe bought in back through here somewhere, and they're down 50 percent, 60 percent, and they're talking about going, you know, down, might down, you know, might go down to a dollar, right? So 
that's what that's how it works, right? There's people out there they literally want you to be scared, right? And this this exchange crash isn't really that big of a deal. Bit, Bitcoin is Bitcoin, right? It's a limited supply. All the structure around it is just kind of garbage, in my opinion, to begin with. So <laughs> if you just focus on the history of Bitcoin, what should happen is doom and gloom and scary, terrible, oh, no, burning Bitcoin, let it die. Federal government's going to outlaw it and regulate it. It's going to be terrible and terrible. But the thing about it is there's another having cycle coming. And the next pump is probably going up to about 140000 So... Would you want to be panic selling now at 16,000? Or would you want to be just keep buying? Right? Keep buying right now. Just keep buying and buying and buying. Right? And then the next pump comes. So I just want, I don't know. It's hard to explain because it's, it, 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 it's one time I don't want to, at the same time, I don't want to say this is going to happen for sure because no one can know that for sure. But that's how, that's how all these markets work, right? Glorious, wonderful here. I'm going to pump to 20,000 and then boom, right? And then everyone's panic selling down here and it's just terrible. And what a disgrace. And it should be illegal. And then ha, 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 boom, right? And a whole new batch of folks here. And then, and then boom, and then a whole new batch of folks here. And then boom, right? And then it's the bear winter right now. We're coming into just starting, in my opinion. There could be humps and bumps like, like through here. See this? That's, that was a nice little hump. It comes back down, right? Um, and then it's just, it's just as soon as as soon as it's just terrible, right? And as soon as as soon as just the average Joe just finally says, "I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. I'm selling for the seventy percent loss. I'm just so I can't take it." Boom, right up over a hundred thousand. But uh, there's no guarantee. But that's you know that's how it works, right? That's how all this stuff works, right? Um, uh, this video is getting too long. I'll, I'll take, uh, let's see. What else I want to talk about? Oh, let's go chicken noodle soup real quick. This, this is interesting. The, <laughs> the five-year chart of chicken noodle soup almost follows cryptocurrency, which is kind of interesting. Um, well, it's not the same time, but look at that chart, right? Um, that's a hype pump. This was the red box. Or, uh, wait, no. Oh, no, wait. This was the red box deal through here and uh i had been talking about chicken noodle soup i haven't made a video about it since this pump here it went up to 19 dollars. i'd talk about the 20 to 24 20 to 24 dollar range where it's probably going to come up and bump its head and if it can get up above like 23 24 dollars it might stay up there but the the big markets right the general markets tanked and it just went with it and it's not it's not a sexy name, right? Chicken noodle soup for the soul. What is that? Who knows what that? Why would I want to buy that, right? But it's an entertainment company. They own Redbox and they own Crackle and they own Popcorn Flicks and they own a lot of free, free uh, ad based streaming entertainment content services. So it's actually a really neat company. It's I almost think they should just change it to Redbox, right? <laughs> At least it's fairly descriptive. I, I think the name Chicken Soup for the Soul is hurting. Is hurting them just because of their name doesn't make any sense. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, but if the big markets come back up, chicken noodle soup will probably come up to twenty, and we'll see. It, it might fail again at twenty. And uh, th this says fourteen seventy five. Robinhood is not accurate. It's just it's just a skeleton service. But uh, it came up to like nineteen, right close to twenty. And I would expect it to do that again if if the S&P 500, right, if, if the big markets, if this is the real pump, right, because we're coming into the spending spree, holiday spending spree area in time. So this might be this might be the real bounce right here last month, middle of October. This could be it. And, and, you know, see if it sets a new high, right, 4,200, 4,300, see if it comes up there. But uh, no, if it comes back down, and sets a new low, it's probably not going to be good because that would be the third bounce off the level I was talking about here. In how many ways can I say the same thing? Let's see. Uh, yes. But anyways, it's a downtrend, right, for sure there. And that's why this chicken noodle soup is probably doing what it's doing. It's a good, healthy company. But I've been kicking it around lately, right? Does their name stink? Is their name stupid? 
is that is that what's going on here like you know uh interesting to think about okay that's it man i gotta get out of here i could ramble on about this stuff for a long time hope you enjoyed it as always thanks for watching